What's going on everyone? Here we are in Tahit in Algeria. I've been thinking a little bit about after being in Algeria for a few days and also after visiting Morocco before. I'm gonna make a kind of a comparison between the two and I'm gonna tell you in the Morocco versus Algeria kind of setting what are the pluses uh, in visiting Algeria. I'm gonna give you five positive aspects of traveling in Algeria versus doing the same in Morocco. So, here we go. Number one, if you're gonna be traveling by car, and, and I'm gonna put this into my own perspective, to my own experience, which has been road trips both through Morocco and through Algeria, the fuel is absurdly cheaper in Algeria. We're talking about like this is not even this is not even comparable to the kind of prices that we have in the, in Europe in or in the, even in the US. I just want to say for the record, we're filling up the whole tank with fuel for 12 euros. Each liter of gas in Algeria is 20 dinars, which is around one sixth of a euro. Right? One euro is 120 dinars. Do the math. We're talking about filling up a whole tank of uh, BJ73 Land Cruiser, which takes like 80 liters or something. We are talking about filling up one of those with 12 euros. It's insane. It's just not even comparable. So that's a big plus, especially if you want to do long distances in the in this absurdly huge country. It's the biggest country in Africa. Uh, so it's it's a big plus. Number two, Algeria. When it comes to how genuine the place is and how closer to the to the actual culture of the place you are without all the you know all the little funny fluffy things that they prepare for the tourist and the even the way they react with tourists and the way they treat you and talk to you you notice it, if you travel a bit you, you start you start to recognize this pattern especially in countries that are that have a lot of tourism there is this kind of uh, facade you know some people interact with tourists in a, in a specific way like they can tell you're a tourist and they're, they're gonna behave accordingly, you know. I, I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm uh, making myself clear here. But I'm pretty sure some of you will understand. But my point is that Algeria is way more genuine. It's way more genuine. Because the place has no tourism. Which is in itself might be an advantage depending on what type of traveling you want, you'd like, you like to do. That's one thing. It's like, um, it's just way more, more genuine. You're, you're more in contact with the culture. Number three is uh, it relates to number two but it's more specific the people are nicer in Algeria in general uh, they are not as uh, suspicious or they are not as aggressive sometimes um, the people are just nicer they are the, everyone we're talking about here for example in Tahit this is a tiny tiny town in the middle of the Sahara and there's like a thousand people here and tourism is extremely low in, in this in this part of, uh, of Algeria, especially now which is Ramadan, which is even worse. Every single person in the street says hi, or if you wave, they wave back. I'm, I'm talking, I've done this to hundreds of people in this country already. Everybody says hi back, the, the simple things, you know, the little things. They just, they receive you. We've, we've had people saying, you wanna, you wanna uh, come and eat at my, at my place. We have had a guy that received us in his uh, little, little sort of hostel that he had but he he wasn't even supposed to be working because he was on vacation again ramadan right but he made the exception of uh, of um, preparing a room for uh, for me and my dad i mean the, the people are just are, are just uh, are just great no i'm not saying that the people in morocco are not nice or anything but it's clearly different in, in algeria clearly different so number four and this is kind of also related with the fact that that you know tourism is way more uh, limited uh, there's no scams there is absolutely no scams in the, in this country. You know when you are walking in the a market or whatever, and they charge you like ten more ti ten times more because you're a tourist or you're a foreigner or whatever, which is pff, an everyday experience if you travel in Morocco. If you've been to Fez, Meknes, Marrakesh, Casablanca, Rabat, all of those, you go to you know little souks or little market marketplaces. You have to bargain for every single thing, and you better bargain well, or else you get ripped off ripped off all the time. So, and here, this, this, this simply doesn't exist, at least from our, our experience. We've been to a ton of stores, we've bought stuff on the street, we've bought bread from a random old guy in the, in the road who, who, who didn't speak French at all, he only spoke, spoke Arabic, 
and I actually thought he was overcharging me at first because you know you come with this kind of pre thing mindset that you're just gonna think that's gonna be scams because you know it's, it's just the way it is in countries like Morocco or Tunisia or e Egypt forget that in Algeria that doesn't happen and finally number five this this is also this is also uh, a relative thing uh, it has its own disadvantage but I'm gonna talk about that when I talk about the advantages of Morocco which is coming up uh, and and the advantage is very it's very clear Algeria is safer it's a safer place it's a safer country because there is a lot of police and a lot of military uh, personnel everywhere. I know this obviously can be seen as a disadvantage because of, you know, over, over security, all, all that. But we've had experiences that kind of put this a little bit into perspective. I've been with, uh, we've, we've met a few police officers in Tlemcen and they took our passports and then they were asking us to uh, go with them to the to a police station and, and I was thinking just um, we're, I mean we're, we're screwed these guys are just gonna ask us for money and they're not gonna give us our passports back I was just expecting the worst again I, I was in the country it was my second day at the in the country uh, back then so I was just more on the defensive I guess uh, but it turned out that they were, we were just talking for half an hour I, I did show the guy, one of the officers the, the pictures I had in my in my camera he didn't complain at all, it was fine. I, I didn't photograph anything sensitive either. So, uh, but in general, the thing is, you are very controlled in Algeria. No matter where you go, if you stay in a hotel, you always have to give your passports to who, whoever receives you, being it, being it in a fancy hotel like this, which is pretty much the only thing you get in Tahit, or the more humble house that we spent the night the day before, because they always have to report where you are. No matter, and we have, we've had people asking us a ton of times, so where are you going, where did you come from, where is your next destination, where are you gonna, where are you gonna stay in the next three, three, four, five days. So yeah, there's a lot of control. But the thing is, crime is extremely limited here. And I can tell you stories like, when I was in Morocco, I've seen just, I'm not, I mean, this is unfortunate stuff, but I've seen like people just fighting in the street a few times. Uh, and, I, and by the way, I saw that like my, my first day there, when I was in Tangier, I saw that happening like twice, just like that. Tons of uh, drug dealers in the street. In Tangier alone, I was approached like 15 times in one night. I'm not exaggerating. It was just like that. Uh, and not only I haven't been approached once since I've been here, I also heard stories that if you actually get caught with drugs here, you, you just go to jail. That's, that's it. That's the end of it. But I'm seeing that from a positive angle. You can just travel freely as long as you, as long as you tell them where you're going. And, and the thing is, we, we didn't actually plan our whole route uh, previously. We were actually thinking about going from Oran to Algier. Uh, and we changed our mind. We, we went all the way south. We did like 800 kilometers to the south so we could see the Sahara and the dunes and all that. Uh, and there, it was fine. We didn't actually had to formalize anything with the police. So, that, so that's what I mean. It, it's it's safe. Some people might think it's a little bit over the top uh, because there is actually there is police everywhere. It's it's comparing that to Morocco, it's just crazy. Or to any European country. And that's pretty much yeah. A another another thing that I, I'd like to mention as a side note. It's funny because the again because this this country is more genuine, and it seems like a sort of a contradiction. <laughs> In Morocco, I was all I was only allowed in one mosque, and it was a mosque that was highly touristic, and it was pretty much with the tour around. Uh, I wasn't allowed in any in any other mosque. In Algeria, I've been in two mosques already, and I had I didn't pay a thing, no tour, no nothing. Fair enough, uh, an imam tried to convert me in one of those. Obviously, it didn't work, but you know, it's, I, I guess it's the it's the price. A nice guy, all that. I'm gonna make a video about that. In, in, in I'm gonna talk about that in a separate video. But again, I mean, it's just uh, you, you're a foreigner in a country that it's not just doesn't have that mindset for the tourists, which is a very good thing. We're making new friends. Yeah, right. This random dude would just walking around. Pretty hungry, but we've found some milk for him already, so it's all good. So yeah, these are the five advantages that I can just tell you right off the bat about traveling in Algeria. So. I'm going to talk about advantages of traveling in Morocco very soon, so safe travels and keep expanding.